And here are today's newlyweds. This couple celebrated their marriage 12 months ago, Kim and Chris Cato. Our next couple did the I Do's just one month ago, Andrea and Russell Philpott. This couple tied the knot three months ago, Heather and Gary Benuya. And our final couple exchanged rings 24 months ago, Patty and Daniel Reddick. And now, here's the star of the newlywed game, Bob Eubanks! Thank you, thank you. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the newlywed game. <laughs> We're glad you could join us today. Our couples are here, ready to play. You are ready to play the game. Yeah. yeah. All right, then first we must send the ladies off to our soundproof room. Would you do that for me, please, ladies? And don't forget, gentlemen, around one, I'll be asking you some five-point questions. You'll be answering these questions as you predict your wife will answer the same question when she returns. Remember now, if her answer matches your prediction, you then get five points. And, of course, you know the rules. Whichever couple has the most points at the end of the show wins a fabulous second honeymoon. So the ladies are gone, and here's your first question for five points. You ready? Gentlemen, which compliment will your wife say she's heard least in her life? You're so beautiful, you're so smart, or you're so sexy? Which one of those has she heard least in her life, Daniel? Well, I'd, I'd have to go with beautiful, Bob. You're so beautiful, she's heard that least in her life. Thank you very much. Russell? Um, I would have to say, um, I don't think this, by the way, but smart. You're so smart, she's yes. heard least of in her life. Chris? She's a, I'll, uh, I'm going to have to go with smart also. Um, You're so smart, she's heard least yeah. of. She's uh, sexy, she's smart, she's beautiful. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm just going to have to go. Yeah, I understand, smart. Gary. Yeah, I'd have to say you're so beautiful because uh, I am constantly getting in trouble for not saying it. You're so beautiful, she's heard least of. Yes. Oh, okay. Next question, gentlemen. Will your wife say you have or have not ever made love to her just wearing your socks? <laughs> have you or have you not, Russell, ever made love to her just wearing your socks? I would have to say, yeah, I've probably made love to her every way, you know, with every piece of clothing. <laughs> I want to know just wearing your socks. Um, yes. Yes, you have. All right, Chris? Um, I'm going to say no. You have not? No, yeah. Oh. Okay. I have not. Um, I usually get it all off. I Wait. got you. Gary? I'd have to say with them on. So you have? Yes. Oh, thank you. So <laughs> I have with them on. You're nervous, aren't you? No. You should be. <laughs> Daniel? I'd have to say with them on. Just you have recently. then? Yeah, just Boy, recently. that's an image I can't get over. Next question. <laughs> Gentlemen, which one of your two families will your wife say would qualify as just this side of trailer trash? Which one of your two families, Chris, will Kim say is just this side of trailer trash? Yours or hers? Even if it was mine, I'm going to say it's hers. Or hers. <laughs> <laughs> it's hers. Gary? I'd have to say hers. Her family, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because, but uh, you mean it, don't you? Um, yes. Yeah, I knew you did. <laughs> Daniel. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> I have to say hers. She'll probably say mine, but I say hers. It's hers, though. Okay. <laughs> Russell? I would go with hers. Yeah, I knew you guys would. Thank you, yeah. gentlemen. We'll be right back to reunite our newlyweds. We will see how well our husbands have predicted what their wives will say right after these messages. Dead cut! It's rank and file. Salad? Game show style. Buzzer honors vets with all fresh match games. Try this. And family feud military episodes. November 11th. On buzzer, let's play!
Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for joining us today on the Newlywed Game. And gentlemen, we've recorded your predictions on cards. You now have them in front of you. Each time that your prediction matches your wife's answer, you get five points. And the way this little thing goes, it's the couple with the most points at the end of the show that wins a fabulous second honeymoon. So, ladies, we're glad you came back. You sure do make the place prettier than with those four old ugly guys. <laughs> now you're out there. Ladies, which compliment would you say you've heard least in your life? You're so sexy, you're so beautiful, or you're so smart? Which one of those have you heard least in your life, Heather? I am going to say you're so sexy. You're so sexy. Yeah, I'm just not the sexy kind. I'm like jeans and t-shirts and comfort. But that's sexy. Not always. Oh, sure it is. No. Yeah, Gary said that you've heard least, you're so beautiful. Oh, what? <laughs> you're always getting mad at me. What do you mean? <laughs> I, what? That I don't say you're so beautiful. Oh. Well, go ahead, say it again on national television. You're so beautiful. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Yeah. All right. <laughs> And he means it, too. I hope so. Well, you know he does. I hope he does. Kim, which have you heard least in your life? Um, maybe I'm so smart. You're so smart. All right. Chris said you've heard least in your life. You're so smart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Andrea. I don't know if I should be happy about this, but smart? You're so smart. He said you've heard least in your life. You're so smart. Yeah. That's not the truth, though. Yeah. That's not the truth. Yeah. Pardon me, sir? That's not the truth. Oh, quit no, bailing out. You said it while she was gone. <laughs> yeah. he said, when you were gone, he said, I got this an easy one. I'm sure. Yeah, that's what he I said, know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Hattie, what, what is your answer? Um, you're so smart. You're so smart. He said, least in your life you've heard you're so beautiful. Oh. Well, I didn't say it was true. I just said that's what you heard. That's what probably. you said, though, man. The least I heard was something. Yeah, he said that. Yeah, because... <laughs> Well, everyone's always telling you how great you are at work and how smart you are. Next question. You ready? Here we go. Ladies, would you say your husband has or has not ever made love to you just wearing his socks? Kim? He has. You're kidding me. <laughs> he has? Yes, he has. Does he have sexy legs? Yes, he does. He does. And he so has he a would sexy just wear everything. His... Pardon me? He has sexy Didn't everything. Didn't ask all of that. <laughs> yeah. Chris predicted you would say he has not. When I have on socks, we don't make love. We just have sex. Okay. <laughs> you know, if we're gonna make love, we, you know, we take our time. We get undressed. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. You know, at a restaurant. Whoa. You know, or. Bathroom. In a restaurant? <laughs> bathroom. You've done that in a restaurant bathroom? Yes, I have. What restaurant? Ah, uh, I can't say. I can't say. It I wasn't can't Hooters, say. was it? No. 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 Andrea? Has not. He has not. He predicted you would say he has. I no. hate your socks. I do not like socks. You may not remember, but um, I have. I know when I have my socks. Uh, I can't believe you didn't know that. All right, I Hattie. Don't like now, that. has he or has he not ever made love to you in just his socks? I'm going to say no socks. He, no. he has not? You know what he said? He said he has, too. <laughs> I have. You don't wear Just not that. But I have done it before, though. <laughs> Heather. I am going to say that he, we have done it with his socks on because, you know, sometimes you just get in a hurry. And... Never at a restaurant, though, like Never at a restaurant, like Chris, no. no. All right, no. he predicted you would say that uh, he has. Yeah. yeah, all right. <laughs> Next question, ladies. Which one of your two families would qualify as just this side of trailer trash? <laughs> it's a funny question. Andrea? His side. His side, oh. yeah. He said your side. Oh. <laughs> Come on, who lives in Florida? Yeah. <laughs> Who's from Florida? We don't live in a trailer. Oh, man. Boy, the family reunion is going to be a lot of fun oh. this year. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, God, I should have. Wow. Hattie, so far you don't have any points, but oh, here's no. your chance to move into a tie for first place. I'm going to say my side. Really? You know what he said? He said, your side. Yeah. <laughs> Heather. This is so easy. It's, it's my family. My family is from Washington State. They live in a little very, very small town. They have an irrigation festival. Okay? <laughs> That's like their big thing. They it's have a, a what? It's called the Squim Irrigation Festival. It's my family. 
They have an irrigation That's festival? That's what it's called, the Squim Irrigation Festival. So somebody it gets elected as Miss Irrigation? Apparently. <laughs> I've, I've never been to one, but, wow, you know, man. this is what I hear. Gary so. said it definitely is her family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Kim? I'd have to say it's my family. Your family? Yes. Um, I was born in Alabama, and people have this impression of Alabama. So. so I think it's your, all right, he, he predicted you would say it definitely is uh, her family, yeah. All right, thank you. We'll be right back with the wives to see how well they predict what their husbands will say right after these messages. Is the honeymoon over? More newlyweds and me, Bob Eubanks, coming up on Buzzer. And hey, welcome back, everybody. Now, ladies, your husbands are all secluded off stage. It's your turn to predict what they will say. And remember, these questions will now be worth 10 points. Here's our first one. Ladies, in what one way will your husband say your sex life together is most like a baseball game? In what way, in one way Andrea, is your sex life most like a baseball game? Um, a lot of... What is it? Strikeouts when you home runs. That's it. <laughs> Boy, there's a big difference here, kid. Home, home run, Which one you want? Run. Strikeouts I, or home runs? Home runs. You want home runs? I all forgot right. what it was called. Kim? Sorry. That's my answer exactly. It's always good. <laughs> home run. Home run. Really? Yeah. Heather? Um, is this lately or most of the time? Well, you know. <laughs> I really don't know you that well, so why don't you just answer any way you want? Um, well, we were both sick last week, so I'm going to say that our sex life is most like a baseball game in that we struck out a lot last week. Yeah, we struck out. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, we were sick. Yeah, I'm sorry. So. Were there any errors? None that I can think of. I see, okay. I hope not. Any pop flies? Last night? I don't know. Oh. Okay, Hattie? <laughs> I would say um, strike out because he expects a lot of screaming action from me. <laughs> and I he wants you to I scream? All the time. <laughs> just look down. If he's got his socks on, just scream. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Next question, ladies. What's the longest length of time your husband will say he's gone without showering since you've been married? <laughs> Kim? I'd say one day. One day. Hey, Heather? I'm going to give him two days. Okay, okay. <laughs> whether he likes it or not. Hattie? <laughs> I'm going to say um, 
Two days. Two days. He was sick. Andrea? <laughs> Two. Two what? Days. Days. Okay. <laughs> Next question, ladies. How many times since you arrived at our studio today will your husband say the other three wives have checked him out? <laughs> Heather, how many times will your husband say the other three wives have checked him out? None. None? No. How come? Because they weren't looking at him. Why not? Well, because I was watching it. I mean... <laughs> I don't, I don't mean I was like looking. Yeah, 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 sure. sure. But I mean, we yeah. were all just. Yeah, I was sure. talking with all You've of them. You've been checking so. out the other husbands, haven't you? No. Yes, you have. I, I can tell. Not. You have two. I bet you have. Bet you, bet you. I'll bet you. Two. <laughs> two. No. Patty? I'm going to say zero. They were looking. I mean, they, they were laughing and not looking. What do you mean laughing? He's, he's, a, <laughs> he's me? a funny guy. He's a funny so, guy. Yeah. You should see him with so his socks on. Laughing. <laughs> Andrea. This is what he would think. Yeah. Okay. Three. Three times? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Ego, huh? Oh, he probably would be like, oh, yeah, they were checking me out. They're when they're not, me. they're not even checking him out. No. They he don't even know he's here, probably. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's yeah. what I keep saying. Yeah. <laughs> Kim. I'd have to say zero. Zero? <laughs> uh huh. Why? How come? He's a reserved guy, kind of quiet. Oh, okay. Not really out 25 point bonus question. Ladies, what would your husband say is his favorite cut of steak? Favorite cut of steak, Patty? Favorite cut? Yeah. Uh, prime. Prime. Is that a cut? <laughs> prime. That's fine with me. Andrea. He doesn't eat meat. I still need to answer though, huh? Yeah. If you want to go on a vacation. Okay. Um. Uh. <laughs> I mean, you can just drop the whole darn question if you no, want to, and not go to uh, wherever we're going. Prime rib. Prime rib. Yep. Kim. I'd have to say the center cut. The center cut yep. is your answer. Okay, Heather. Prime rib. Prime rib. All right, ladies, thank you. We'll be back with the husbands who compare answers on the newlywed game right after these messages. Time is playtime with our most popular shows. Every day you must watch. Tomorrow, starting at noon Eastern, only on Buzzer.
Welcome back, everybody. All four of our couples have scored points. Let's see how well they do this time, and we're going to see who's going to go on that fabulous second honeymoon. All right, gentlemen, you ready? Remember, these questions are now worth 10 points, and here is our first one. Gentlemen, in what one way would you say your sex life together is most like a baseball game? In what one way, Chris, is your sex life together most like a baseball game? It's got to be home runs. That's all I hit. Nothing but home runs. Nothing but home runs. I don't know, no uh, singles, doubles, triples, home runs. Is that right? <laughs> home runs. Have you ever been thrown out at home? Never. <laughs> Never? Never. All right. Kim predicted you would say it's the home run. Yes. <laughs> All right. You're telling me you're the Sammy Sosa of lovemaking, is that yes. it? Yes. <laughs> right now. Right now. Okay. <laughs> Russell? Well, I enjoy uh, doubles and triples an awful lot, Bob, but... Um, I well, have what's to go your answer, the... Russell? <laughs> <laughs> I have to go with the home run. Well, why don't you go with a home I'm run? I'm going with a home run. All right. She predicted you would say it's, uh, there are a lot of home runs. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> what do you think, Daniel? Definitely got to say home runs. <laughs> you hit those home runs. You know what your wife said? Congratulations. Strike out. Strike out. <laughs> what? Me to no. Have you. <laughs> no, Gary. <we> didn't. <laughs> oh, uh, I'd like to say uh, she's probably thinking bunt, but I'm hoping home runs. Home runs, all right. Yes, you sir. know what she said? Yeah, it's more like a strikeout a lot. Because we've been sick. Yeah. We've both been sick, Gary, yeah. and we haven't wanted to do anything. Yeah. The baby's room's right next to ours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Next question, gentlemen. Tell me, what's the longest length of time you've gone without showering since you've been married? Russell? <laughs> wow. Um, That's what she said, man. Yeah, she, she said, said wow. wow. When she's, whew, yeah. Oof, right now. Um, <laughs> I would say one day. One day. You know what she said? She said two days. Uh, two days? Two days? Yeah. When? On a weekend or something? Yeah, exactly. No. <laughs> he just answered his own question. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Daniel. Well, there was a while, there, I had this medical thing where I had to take baths for like a week, so I say like a week. A week? All right. I took baths, but... Boy, oh, <laughs> that'll make her scream. Just don't take a bath for a week. Two, two days, days, she said. <laughs> no. I was thinking about when you were sick that time. Gary? I'd have to say two days. Two days. Your yeah. wife predicted that you actually went only top card. Two days, that's right. Okay, there you go. Yay. Chris, the longest period of time. Well, uh, I'm going to say two days, but it's probably about two weeks. But I'm going to say two days. <laughs> Why two weeks? I want to say two days. But why two weeks? <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> why two weeks? Just sometimes I just don't feel like it. <laughs> and I just go in and there... And you've gone two weeks without and... taking a bath? <laughs> and I just go in there and I just wipe myself off and just go get in bed. Two days. Two days, all right? She said you've actually gone one day. Two weeks! I said two days. Oh my Next God. question. Gentlemen, how many times since you arrived at our studio today would you say the other three wives have uh, checked you out? <laughs> hey, Daniel, how many times since you arrived at the studio today have these other three ladies checked you out? This is like combined or each? <laughs> Com combined. <laughs> uh, one. One, all right. She said, zero. zero. Oh, they laughed at you. Oh. <laughs> oh. <Okay>. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Gary? Well, I'd like to say all the time, but the How whole time, times? but I'd say none. None. Your wife said probably none. Uh, yeah, that's okay. right. Okay. I'm an ugly guy. Pardon me? I'm an ugly guy. You're not ugly. You're not ugly, baby. All right, Chris? Um, I'm going to say once. Uh, One once. time, all right? She said One they've time. checked you out zero times, man. <laughs> Chris. You don't think anybody no, looks at me? No, we're all friends. Not Nobody even wants once. you but me. But your friends look at you, too. No. Zero. <laughs> it's zero. <laughs> what, what was your answer, Kim? Zero. Oh. What <laughs> my answer? <laughs> zero. Oh, I got you. <laughs> what do you think, Russell? 
I would have to say none. I don't think any of these beautiful women are not interested oh. in me. I think they're interested in their uh, husbands. Oh, all right. She predicted you'd say they've checked you out three times. <laughs> three times? Oh. Hey, before we get to our 25-point bonus question, let's see where our winning couple will be going on their second honeymoon. Kramer! You're off to Mexico! <laughs> Escape to paradise at the Plaza Iguana Marina Resort located in Marina Vallarta. Just minutes away from the charming cobblestone streets of Puerto Vallarta where Mexico comes to life. Escape to nature in Puerto Vallarta at the Plaza Iguana Marina Resort. You'll be flying Mexicana Airlines with service from eight major getaways. Enjoy what makes Mexicana Mexico's favorite airplane with a friendly feeling of Mexico the minute you board their modern aircraft. Mexicana Airlines. Back to you, Bob. Hi, right, John. Thank you very much. Time for our 25-point bonus question. Here we go. <laughs> Gentlemen. For 25 points, we're going to find out who's going to Mexico. What is your favorite cut of steak? Let's go to couple number four. Daniel and Hattie, I've had a good time with you guys today. Thanks for being here. You got five points. 25 would give you 30. If you get it right, Daniel, you're going to be tied for the lead. What's your answer? Filet mignon. Filet. She said your favorite cut of steak is yeah, prime rib. Fine. Prime. I never I eat know. prime rib. I, yeah. I don't know. Couple number three, that. Russell and Andrea. You have 15, 25 gives you 40. Get it right, you're in first place. What do you think, Russell? Filet mignon. Filet. She said it would be prime rib. Prime rib. Uh, couple I never number two, prime rib. Chris and Kim. You have 20, 25 gives you 45. Chris, if you get it right, you'll be in first place. T bone. T bone. She said center cut. Center cut. Favorite cut. All right. Gary and Heather, you got 30, 25 gives you 55. What's your answer, Gary? Prime rib. <laughs> Prime rib, that's what she said! Yeah, you hit her! You're on your way to Mexico! Hey, thanks to all of our couples and thanks to you at home. I'm Bob Eubanks. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. It's the Newlywed Game! And here are today's newlyweds. This couple became husband and wife eight months ago, Diane and Michael Blackstein. Our next couple marched down the aisle four months ago, LaTanya and Reggie Southall. This couple sliced their wedding cake 11 months ago, Tony and Andre Howard. And our final couple traded vows two months ago, Kimberly and Jamal Noakes. And now, here's the star of the newlywed game, Bob Eubanks. Oh, hey! Thank you. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the newlywed game. Hello, couples. Are you ready to play a game? Yeah! yeah. Well, ladies, do me a favor, if you would, please. I want you to go off to our soundproof room, and I'll ask the husband some questions. So out you go. And gentlemen, around one, I'll be asking you some five-point questions. You'll be answering these questions as you predict your wife will answer the same question when she returns. Also remember, if her answer matches your prediction, you'll then get five points. Each correct prediction brings you that much closer to that fabulous second honeymoon. So if you're ready, here we go. The ladies are gone. Here's your first question. Gentlemen, I want you to take a look at the monitor now, if you would, please. Take a look at the monitor. Of the following four animals, which will your wife say she is most like? Would it be the monkey, <laughs> the horned owl, the meerkat, or the shark? Now, which one of those is she most like, Jamel? I would say the horned owl. She's like the horned owl. Smart aleck. Well, she's a smart aleck. Yeah. Well, I thought you were going to say something like horny or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Scared me to death, man. <laughs> Reggie, which one of those do you most like? The monkey, the horned owl, the meerkat, or the shark? I say the shark. She's, oh, really? Oh, the yeah. shark? Yeah. Wow. She's no joke. <laughs> Is she mean? Uh, she thinks she's mean. She thinks she's mean. All right. Michael? Uh, I would say the shark, too. The yeah. shark also? Really? She goes for it. How big a part is her? She's a big attacker. She attacks everything. Oh, she attacks. Everything. Okay. Yeah. Andre? I'll see the shark also. Here I am over here, Andre. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you say the shark. Yeah. Cause... You're frightened of her, aren't you? No, not really. Are you nervous being on a show? 
A little bit. You should be, pal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Next question, gentlemen. How will your wife say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking. My wife is a pretty smart cookie, but when it comes to blank, her cake's missing a little icing. She's a pretty smart cookie, Reggie. However, when it comes to blank, her cake's missing a little icing. Uh, what would you say? When it comes to... Uh, when it comes to listening. To listening, her cake is missing a little icing. I see. Okay, Michael? Uh, when it comes to cooking. Co she can't cook? Uh, she can, but I'm more the one that makes the fancy stuff. <laughs> you make the fancy. Do yeah. you clean the house, too? Yeah, in between, occasionally. Okay. Andre? I'll say uh, her driving. Her driving? Yes. Yeah, All right, fine. She loves the screech and brakes. She does. Yeah. Jamal? I have to say cooking as well. Her, she doesn't cook well? No. You don't look underfit. <laughs> well, I do all the cooking. Oh, you do the cooking. Yeah. All right. Next question, gentlemen. Who among your wife's friends and family will she say puts the ug in ugly? First name only, please, Michael. <laughs> Hurry, please, Michael. Don't be chicken, Michael. And Reem. Thank you. <laughs> we don't have time for the other answers. I'm sorry. Andre. Uh, I'll say uh, Harlan. Who? Carla? Harlan. Oh, Harlan. He's ugly. Well, I think she thinks he yeah, is. Yeah, okay. Jamal? Um, Paula. Paula. Reggie? Oh, no, I just say a friend, Yolanda. Yolanda? I don't know. I've never worked so hard in my whole life. <laughs> we'll be right back to reunite these newlyweds. We'll see how well her husband has predicted what their wives will say right after these messages. Fresh match day and family feud military episodes. Yes. November 11th on Buzzer. Let's play.
everybody. Okay, gentlemen, we've recorded your predictions on cards. You now have them in front of you. Each time that your prediction matches your wife's answer, you get five points. One couple with the most points at the end of the show will win a great second honeymoon. So, ladies, it's so nice to have you back. And here we go with our first question. Tell me, ladies, I want you to now, ladies, take a look at the monitor. Of the following four animals, which would you say you are the most like? Would it be <laughs> the meerkat, the shark, the monkey, or the horned owl? Now, which one of those are you the most like? Tony? The owl? You're most like the owl. All right, let's see what your husband said. Your husband said that you are most like, could I see it please? No, don't hold up the card. Could, could we, there you are, right there. The shark. There. Oh, there. Shark. You're the shark. Oh, because, because, <laughs> that. Hey, once you get your mind made up, you're like a shark, you're gonna get yeah, it. But he's, I'm wise like an owl. He said you're a well, shark. you're that too, but. You are a shark, he said. No. Once no. your mind is made like up. Diane, which one of those did he say you're like? The meerkat, the shark, the monkey, or the horned owl? Absolutely the monkey. He said you're like the monkey. <laughs> the monkey. Take a look. Let's see what he said you're most like. No. No, the shark. You're the shark. <laughs> yep, I'll bite you, okay? You're the one who attacks all the yeah. time. All right, Latanya, yeah, what do you think? <laughs> I am definitely the owl because I am a night owl. The owl. I'm up all all right. night long. He said you are, you ready for this one? You're the shark Wait, also. You me a shark? <laughs> I'm not no shark. You're stubborn. You're stubborn. You? You're stubborn. You're stubborn. He, yeah, he I'm said, stubborn with he you. He said you attack. <laughs> Reggie, what? You know, I'm an owl. Wait, wait, I don't understand. Why did you say thank you and then smack him? <laughs> I can't believe he called me a shark. He did, to everybody out there, too. <laughs> Kimberly, which one of those are you? Bob, I think I'm the meerkat. You're the meerkat. I th the meerkat, yes. Okay, you know what he said you are? Take a look. Here's, no. <laughs> you're, <laughs> why am I an owl? It's not You're right. the horned owl. Why am I an owl? Because you're a wise guy. You know, you, you're wise like an owl. You know, you take, are you trying to soften it up? Ladies, how would your husband complete this sentence? This is him talking. He said, my wife is a pretty smart cookie, but when it comes to blank, her cake's missing a little icing. <laughs> he said, you're a pretty smart cookie, Diane, but when it comes to what, your cake's missing a little icing. Uh, the game rules. The game, game rules. Rule. I like to play the game my way. Oh, okay. He said that when it comes to, uh, card please, cooking, that your cake is missing oh. a little icing. <laughs> he said, you're a lousy cook. No, well, then, I honey, you can do all. I no. didn't say that. Well, you sort of said it. And I'll eat it since I'm the shark. Since I'm the shark, I'll eat yeah. it and you cook. So far, he's called you a shark and said you're a lousy cook on the same show. He's walking home. <laughs> yeah. He's walking home. Latanya, you're a smart cookie, but when it comes to blank, your cake's missing a little icing. Definitely cleaning up. Clean I do up. not, I, I'm a slob. I All do right, not he clean said up. when it comes to, card for me, please, to listening, to listening. Reggie, what? I, I don't listen to you. That's the problem, you talk too much, you gotta start listening. Oh. Hey, Reg, you just <laughs> ask. Hey. 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 Listening. Just like the directions, really. I'm not listening to you. You just see the first yeah. letter and then you make up the rest of the, the rest of the word. I can't hear you. Talk to the hand. <laughs> Kimberly, when it comes to what? Uh, I'm a very bad organizer. Organizing. He yeah. said when it comes to, card for me, please, when it comes to cooking, you're the worst. Oh. Oh. Honey, we're going home together. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to admit, he is the best cook in the house. He's the better cook. I have to give uh. him his just due, Bob. I have to give him his just due. <laughs> uh, you, you just saved Jamal because uh, Latanya was cocked and ready to whack him. <laughs> <laughs> Tony. Sports? Comes to sports, okay. Yeah. He said, uh, when it comes to your driving, your cake is missing some icing. My driving? Yep, you drive. Oh, you drive a I truck? always drive everywhere, especially when we're in a hurry. You drive a truck I drive. Like it's a sports car. Yeah. We get there, Every we get there I've on had. time. <laughs> Could I ask a question? is right there, Bob. She weighs yeah. about a car length and trying to stop on May I ask a question? Who, who, who's the boss here? I, I am. am. <laughs> I, I'm the boss. <laughs> Next question, ladies. Tell me, who among your friends and family, ladies, 
would you say puts the UG in ugly? Give me a first name only, please. Oh, my God. La Latanya, who among your friends and family puts the UG in ugly? Who would it be? I'm going to just say my Bob friend Barker. Yolanda, but she's not ugly. Who? I'm Yolanda. Really? She's not ugly. She's just a little large. What, what was her name again? Yolanda. Yo, let me see what he said. He said it's your friend Yolanda. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, now you want to kiss me, huh? <laughs> she is going to oh. kill me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Woo! She's not ugly. She's not ugly. She's just yeah, a little she large. She's very beautiful. Yeah. Kimberly. Oh, this is... Somebody's going to kill me for this. Yeah. Who is it? Um, um, I don't have very many ugly friends either, but I want to have to say Paula. Paula? Your husband predicted that he thinks it's definitely Paula. Yeah. Tony, <laughs> who would it be? Tie a pork chop around her neck. <laughs> yeah. Who would it be? Ugly. <laughs> I'm going to say Lori, because she'll forgive me. Lori? Oh, man. Oh, no, no. I, I, Andre said, uh, no, it's Harlan. Harlan's ugly. Now, I don't want to talk about any of your, any of your female friends, but... You know how you feel about Harlan, so I just thought I'd say him. <laughs> Harlan I'm ugly? I'm in trouble with the female friends. Harlan ugly? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Diane? This is going to hurt. I know. Chris. Chris. He predicted you would say Aunt Re. No. <laughs> yeah. Listen, it's been fun. We'll be, I didn't know we'll, we'll be back with the wives to see how well they predict what their husbands will say right after these messages. Watching the newlywed game with me, Bob Eubanks. Stay tuned. Well, welcome back to the newlywed game. Okay, ladies, now your husbands are all secluded off stage where they belong. Maybe they'll never come back. It's your turn to predict what they will say. Remember, each of these questions now worth 10 points. Here's our first one. Tell me, ladies, since you've been married, which of these visitors to your home will your husband say you found to be the most attractive? A delivery boy, a utility worker, a mailman, or a repair guy? Which one did you find to be most attractive, LaTanya? What's the choices again? A uh, delivery boy, utility worker, a mailman, or a repair guy? Uh, I'll say the mailman, because oh. we haven't really had any repairs. Okay, so, so the mailman, all right. I'll say the Diane? mailman. Um, I'll say the delivery boy. Delivery boy, okay. Tony? The mailman. The mailman. No repairs at our home. Oh, good looking guy, huh? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Kimberly. I'm going to say the male guy, too. I mean, we get 
millions and millions of packages. The male guy. All right, yeah. next question, ladies. What will your husband say is the one place on his body that he doesn't like to have touched? <laughs> What's the one place on his body, Tony, that he does not like to have touched? Um, his behind. His behind? His behind. Kimberly? Uh, he has a thing about his Adam's apple. He doesn't Can't want his touch. Adam's apple touched. Can't touch it. Can't touch no, it. I don't blame him. Latanya? My husband likes to be touched everywhere. But there's one spot that he doesn't like. That's his navel. I think it hurts him or something like that. <laughs> you put your finger in his belly button, he doesn't like it. No, hates it. Hates it, yeah. <laughs> Diane? Well, I like to touch him everywhere, but he's very sensitive around his ankle. His, a his, his ankle. <laughs> Next question, lady. Our 25-point bonus question. Which summer fruit will your husband say he just can't seem to get enough of? Which summer fruit, Kimberly? Oh, definitely watermelon. Watermelon. Latanya? Uh, I'll say grapes. Grapes. Diane? Um, I'd like to say me, but I'll say bananas. <laughs> bananas. Okay. Tony? Nectarines. Nectarines. Yeah. You said it with a question mark, but I'll take it. Thank you, ladies. All right. We'll be back with the husbands to compare <laughs> answers on the newly Good Game. Right after these messages. <laughs> Get ready for a super mini marathon of super proportions as Super Password takes over the fun. Super Password, it's like regular password, just with a tiny little cape. Stay tuned. Back to the newlywed game. Two of our couples have five points. Two of our couples have no points. <laughs> That's all right. We're, now, gentlemen, we're going to see how well your wives have predicted what you will say. Remember, these questions will now be worth 10 points, so it's going to be easy to catch up. Here's our first question. Gentlemen, since you've been married, which of these visitors to your home did your wife find to be the most attractive? Was it a repair guy, a delivery boy, a utilities worker, or a mailman? Which one of those, Michael, did she find to be most attractive? Repair guy, delivery boy, utilities worker, or mailman? The mailman. The mailman. She yeah. said she loves the delivery boy. The no, why do you want to? The mailman's a lady. Well, we had a nice one in summer. He looked pretty nice. <laughs> Reggie. I'd have to say 
The mailman. How come? Because we haven't had uh, any utilities workers there. Oh, I'm sorry. Had to be the mailman. You haven't any delivery guys either, huh? No deliveries. No pizza. Better huh? be the mailman. No pizza. Okay. She said it would definitely be the mailman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jamal. Yeah, I called your name. It's time for to answer the question, Jamal. <laughs> Could you repeat it for me, Bob, please? What? The question. The question? It. Which one of these visitors? Listen up, you guys. Did your wife find to be the most attractive? A repair guy, a delivery boy, a utilities worker, or the mailman? Since she's always calling over to the office to get things repaired in the house, I would say the repair guy. Repair guy, all right. Now, she said uh, she thinks the mailman is cool. You never see the mail guy. <laughs> but you always getting packages delivered to the house. Yeah. You never see him. So, you see him. You never see him. You always at work. Next question, Bob. Pardon me? <laughs> Next question, Bob. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is my show. I'll ask the question. <laughs> Andre. I have to say the repairman. The repairman, all right. She said that she finds the, the mailman yeah. to be quite attractive. The mailman is yeah. a female. Not anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> where, where, what happened? Did he have an operation? <laughs> we used to have a female. Mail She's carrier. She's working now, so she don't even know who's coming to the house. We now. have a male ma mail carrier now, Bob. You have a male mail carrier? Yes, we do. <laughs> we have a male man now. Um, He's home before I am. He should be able to see the mail. Well, that's, you that's how I know. That lady's not on the route anymore. I saw her the other day. <laughs> she wasn't on our street. <laughs> she came up and I spoke to Where'd her. Where'd you see her? Around the corner. She came to our house. How come? To deliver mail. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaky, man. You play a little post office, huh? Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. I don't play that. <laughs> Next question. Gentlemen, what would you say is the one place on your body that you don't like to have touched? Jamal, one place in your body you don't like to have touched? <sighs> my throat, my neck, my throat. Whereabouts? My Adam's apple. Oh, is that right? Yeah. How come? Sensitive. What happens when she touches it? I, I go Re running. Reach over there and grab it, Kim. See what she... It's a lot. It's a lot. She predicted you would say it would be your Adam's apple. Yeah. <laughs> Andre, it's something, someplace in your body you don't like to have touched. Uh, I guess I'll say uh, my behind. I beg your pardon? Your my behind. behind. <laughs> my butt. Your buttocks? Yes, my buttocks. <laughs> That's what she said, yeah. Hey, Tony! Yeah? Reach out and grab him! He's not gonna do See, it in front like of you guys. Michael? Yeah. <laughs> My stomach. Your stomach. She predicted you would say that you don't like to have your ankles touched. Because of your no, surgery. No, what's up? Because of your surgery. Why do you want to go there? <laughs> I like to go there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I like to go there. You don't like it. Reggie. I'd have to say my feet. I'm super, super ticklish on my feet. Really? Yeah. You know what she said? She Better said, card feet. for me, please. No, oh, it's your navel you don't like to have touched. Your touch. navel, Reggie, you don't, you don't like nobody. <laughs> hey! There you go. <laughs> Before we get to our 25-point bonus question, let's see where our winning couple will be going on their second honeymoon. Kramer! You're going to Jamaica! You'll stay at the Wyndham Rose Hall Golf and Beach Resort just outside of Montego Bay. Rose Hall offers championship golf, tennis, water sports, and a private white sand beach. Wyndham Rose Hall, the jewel of Jamaica. It's the perfect place for newlyweds. Back to you, Bob. Hi, John. Thank you very much. 25-point bonus question. Here we go for 25 points. Gentlemen, which summer fruit would you say that you just can't get enough of? Which summer fruit would you say you just can't get enough of? Couple number two. Michael and Diane, you have a zero. If you get this one right, you will be in first place. If you miss it, you will go home without any points at all and will be embarrassed, I'm totally. <laughs> Michael? Bananas? Bananas, she said. <laughs> bananas, yeah! Double number one, Andre and Tony with 10, 25, we'll give you 35, take over the lead. Andre with the correct answer. I'll say bananas. Bananas, she said, no, nectarines. Uh, you can't get enough of. Couple number three, Reggie and LaTanya, 15, 25 gives you 40. Get it right and you'll be in first place. 
Watermelon. Watermelon, she said. Grapes, Randy. Grapes. 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 Oh. grapes. Watermelon. Grapes. We got grapes in the refrigerator. Yeah. All right, couple number four. Jamal and Kimberly, 15. 25 gives you 40. If you get it right, you and your wife are going on a fabulous second honeymoon. Jamal, what's your answer? She better say watermelon. Let's see if she did. Yeah. Watermelon! You're going to Jamaica! Well, thanks to our couples. Most of all, thanks to you. I'm Bob Eubanks. Hey, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.